here we are again on a very hot summer day in my back yard, the pond and everything. It is so hot, the temperature going up to 100 here in St. Louis. I better sign fast. Communion, thinking about that. Last week, Sunday, we considered people that thought they could decide the life God wanted them to live. It was their decision. It did not agree with God's word, but no matter, they thought they could live their decided life. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 says that, that you are God's design. Faith in you causes you to do the good works that God created you to do. This Sunday, Jesus tells a man to let the dead bury their dead. You come and follow me. Luke chapter 9 verse 50. You see the picture for this Sunday. Who are those that Jesus sees as dead, the skeleton, people with the skull head. Who are they? Who do they bury? Important questions, and without the right answer, you and I are also those dead people. When we follow Jesus, we follow all God tells us. He designed and created us to do the good things that he already decided for our lives. Sometimes the Bible uses the word fruit meaning the actions that God creates us to do. Suppose God created an apple tree. Could that apple tree decide itself to grow oranges? No. In the same way God's grace causes his faith gift to want to do all the actions he created you to do. The Ten Commandments guide us to know the things that his will, his will wants us to do. The dead follow their own law and their own life's way. We were dead until Jesus baptized us into his death, burial, and he rose us to what? A new life. Look at the verse in Romans chapter 6, verse, verses 3 through 6. His living followers obey Jesus' command, and they receive the Lord's Supper. That's right. He commands you to receive that Lord's Supper. In Matthew chapter 26, verses 26 and 27, he commands it. Take, eat. Take, drink. Those are Greek command words. That means attending church. That's following the third commandment. When is the last time you obeyed Jesus' command 
and you received the Lord's Supper. When? Does that help you answer? Who are the dead ones burying the dead? Consider Jesus' faith followers. They regularly are there receiving the Lord's Supper. His grace and forgiveness, they eat and drink.